So we finally made it to Lombok. This is Lombok. And this here is Bali. It's just a short hop away. We've been wanting to do this surf trip since forever. But it took us like two years and eight months before we finally booked this now. There were always so many reasons why not. We didn't know how to and there were too many unknowns. The ferry crossing? The timing is never fixed. You can't buy tickets online in advance, only in person. It's a two hour drive away from where we stay and you don't even know for sure if the ferry will depart. If the seas are unruly, sometimes it just doesn't. And now that we're finally here, I'm sitting there thinking, why didn't we just do this earlier? It's awesome. All we had to do really was just say yes first to what we really, really wanted and figure things out along the way. It got me to thinking, we're really just so allergic to uncertainty and discomfort these days. Big Tech has gotten so good at giving us all the distractions and entertainment we want in the palm of our hands. Even when people go on holidays to escape their regular lives, they're there in the completely different place, mostly still glued to their phones. We've been conditioned day by day to feel comfortable, to expect whatever we want, fast and easy, just a click away, they like to say. These days, most people simply assume that's how everything in life should be. But I think the truth is, the more we think everything should be that easy, the harder it becomes to actually do something meaningful in our lives. The irony of our human nature. What comes easy, probably, is also not meaningful or significant. If we've got no skin in the game, if we already know something's going to work, if it needs no courage, no leap of faith, then it probably also won't matter. No matter what it is we wish for, the stuff that truly matters are the ones we actually put ourselves on the line for. More than ever before, we're uncomfortable with taking risks, with going out of our comfort zones, with accepting the discomfort of not knowing if something will work. If there's something out there in life that you really, really want, it's become so hard to say yes first and only figure things out later. We all harbour a vision of our dream life. Some seek abundance in material wealth and conventional success. Others, like me, seek freedom, financially and socially. Chances are, none of us will obtain the perfect life we dream of by chance or by someone else's charity. Most probably, we are the ones who have to build it with our own two hands. We are the ones who have to take full responsibility for our lives, each and every choice within, and the aggregate collective result. There will always be fear of failure, loss, humiliation, hardship. We will always overthink everything. I've learned that the only way to overcome all that is to take real action one small step at a time and just keep going. As we stack up our actions, we accumulate experience, learning and gradually confidence. There's always so many reasons, excuses not to try something new and uncertain. But really, I'm guessing most people, ourselves included, 
are just using these to avoid the risk of failing at something or the discomfort of the hard work that is entailed. We are extremely uncomfortable with being uncomfortable. Most of the time, we are what holds ourselves back the most. We postpone ourselves and what we really, really want because we don't want the uncertainty and discomfort that comes with it. But just because we don't like the choices we see doesn't mean they aren't choices. Don't forget, in the end, our biggest risk may perhaps be choosing to take no risk at all and live life unexplored. In the book Man's Search for Meaning, Viktor Frankl wrote about being trapped in the Nazi concentration camp. Having had everything taken away, Frankl wrote about the last freedom he had left, the power of choice, the freedom to choose how to respond to the circumstances he faced, no matter what they were. I read this for the first time when I was 15, and this powerful lesson has resurfaced in my mind many times since. Our circumstances may be what we are born into, but no matter our circumstances, living intentionally is a choice. We don't need to reduce ourselves to just reacting to whatever is in front of us and then later wondering how our lives turned out that way. We can choose to take responsibility for our everyday decisions, choices, actions, and ultimately the life we live. We can choose to do the hard stuff in life that will move us towards our higher evolution as a person. We can choose to be okay with failure and choose to try again. We can choose contentment. We can choose to be happy. So I guess, more accurately, the title to this video should be Almost Everything is a Choice. But by now, I think you get my drift. We can choose to say yes today and figure out how later. Or we can choose to do nothing. Yes, an action is a choice. Not taking the gamble and playing it safe is a choice. Time goes by no matter what. Whether we do something or we don't do anything, we will die at the end anyway. It is up to us how we experience our lives, that collection of all our choices, big and small. For those people out there nursing big dreams, I hope that one day soon, you will stop postponing yourself from truly living. I wish so much for each of you out there that you can find the strength in you to believe in your own power, to take responsibility for your choices, stop second-guessing or overthinking, and go after what you really, really want. As George Jung once said, life passes most people by while they make great plans for it. What are you still waiting for? Thank you for watching. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Let's chat again soon. Bye!